Hey, hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to 5 Minute Eats. Eats. All right guys, today we are here with another frozen appetizer type of item. This is the Pagoda Chicken Pot Stickers and it says that it has tender dumplings filled with white meat chicken and freshly cut cabbage and carrots and it also includes a lime ponzu sauce. And these were from Walmart and they were $2.97 and you get um, 10 of them. Well, it says nine to 10. I on love the that. It says nine to 10. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing it's by weight, but both of the bags, because it came in two separate bags, both had five in the one that we got. So. And how many I mean, sauces? Two sauces, and <laughs> this is it. Like, like, I mean, it's. No, we have it to show them. Freaking tiny. Yeah. Dude, there's like nothing in here. There's like, almost nothing in there. Because I don't want to tip it over or anything because we barely have any sauce. Here's the thing. It's going to spill. The sauce packet was literally the size of a ketchup packet. Yeah. And you're supposed to use that for all of these. Yeah, there's none, nothing in here, nothing. guys. Nothing. Nothing. Like, I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> so people, if you make frozen food items like this, please include a very large sauce packet because ain't nobody going to be able to use that for all five pot stickers. And especially if your product is meant to be dipped in something. Yes. Don't just like leave it up to them to like buy it. You know, just put it in there. Yes, exactly. Be generous include amount. It. Yeah, yes. generous amount of packets or whatever. Put the freaking sauce in there. Yes, exactly. So just to tell you, um, it did say for the traditional heating method, which is what I did, put it in a nonstick skillet with a little bit of water, a little bit of oil, and basically just cover it up for 11 minutes and let it cook until the bottoms are browned. But here's the thing, guys. These started getting um, burnt. So I ended up just kind of rotating them so that they wouldn't get all burnt just on the bottom. Um, so don't really love those cooking instructions. I feel like it's not entirely accurate, but that is what it is. I'm gonna go first without the sauce and then yeah. with it. The filling is very good. Hmm. I don't like the um, exterior as much. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, I'm gonna let you go first. Wow, yeah. that's cold. <laughs> Normally you go first, but all right, I'm gonna do it. So, all right, guys, our rating system, thumbs up, we would buy this again. Thumbs down, we would not. Why we do this, we don't know. But anyway, for me, it is a thumbs down. And here's the thing, I don't think it's bad, but the outer like shell of it, the like pot sticker wonton thing of it, it seems almost more like pastry bread and not really a wonton, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Also the inside, while it does seem like good quality chicken and stuff, it's so bland. It literally tastes like nothing to me. And whenever you add the sauce, I do feel like the sauce is really the hero of it. It makes it. But you see, we did not even quite finish all five of these. We finished like four and a little bit and, um, or not, well, three and a little bit and there's no sauce left. That's just, yep. that it's not enough sauce. So don't love that aspect of it. But even though the sauce makes it taste good, the actual thing is just like eating nothing. So I really, I would not buy it again. I don't think that it's worth it because the inside doesn't have any real like seasoning. All right guys, for me, thumbs up or thumbs down, it's a big thumbs down. And the reason is like you, there's not much inside. Mm -hmm. And I don't like the exterior sh uh, shell or you know, whatever Wonton you want to call it. Thing. Yeah, because it's, first of all, it's not fresh. So it's a little hard, you know, cause mm -hmm. you want to like cook it. Um, but the, my problem with it is there's too much of it and not enough inside mm -hmm. the filling. There's not enough inside of it. Mm -hmm. the, the filling is very good in my opinion. I like it. Um, I do agree. It's not like as good as the one you would get at a restaurant or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But when you dip it in the sauce, I feel like it's good. Yeah, when it's dipped in the sauce. Yeah, and uh, but I do feel if they had stuffed more in it, even without the sauce, I think it would be good in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, and the sauce makes it even that much better, right? But like you said, there's not much sauce. So for me, this is a thumbs down. It's not bad. If you're like new to Asian food, I think this is a great choice to like introduce you to it. It's a safe bet. It's a safe bet, right? Mm -hmm. Because like there's not gonna be like, uh, it's it's cheap. I, that's the yeah. thing I liked about the price. I feel like it's a great appetizer if you're like hanging out with your guys or girls and you're like lazy to cook. Yeah. This is a great, because how much was it? Like under three bucks, it was 2.97. Great price, man. Mm -hmm. And you get a lot 
for your price. Yeah, exactly. That's the video, guys. If you like what we're doing here, definitely, definitely, definitely give us a like. That's right. And before you go, remember that sharing is caring. So make sure to share this video with all of your family and friends. Bye. Bye.